It's December 2010, God damn it already. I'm here with Leroy Moore, the founder of that Crip Hop Nation. Last time we connected at this very same cafe in Berkeley was three years ago, and a lot has happened since then, right? Oh, yeah. Like what? You said this has been a good year, right, 2010? Yeah, this has been a great year for Crip Hop Nation. Um, we've been traveling, doing workshops everywhere we did. Um, a workshop performance in a conference in Atlanta, Georgia in October, and that was um, at Georgia State University. And also we um, presented an award to Joe Capers. Joe Capers was a blind um, black um, music engineer and musician. He used to live here in Oakland, and he used to he used to work with you know people back in the day like MC Hammer and Tony 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 and Jizz on the Ground, and had the first accessible um, studio in Oakland. So he passed away years ago. So um, I decided to to have an award in his name and we were going to give it to the family. So that was a part of the whole Crip Hop um, event in Georgia. It you know, turned out really good. The family got the award and um, Georgia State University is going to keep doing the award. And, in his name, so that's really, really good. And from that, um, a group of us here in the Berkeley, Oakland area, got together in Nauru, um, Elaine, and we're doing um, a, doc a documentary about Joe Paper. So that's really good. That's Nauru Quina. Is that Naru Quina is going to do it with you? Yeah, 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 yeah. We live in Oakland and work, work with um, Joe Papers. That was really good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, that, so that's October. That was one event in October. After that event, we went to New York and had the Crip Hop Homo Hop event. And the Crip Hop Homo Hop event started here in Berkeley last year. So this is a crossover of the two subgenres then? It's yeah, like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. exactly. It's bringing the two communities together and not only to perform, but to really talk and to really discuss, you know, how, how we can work together to overcome the oppression that mainstream hip hop puts put on those. Because there is parallels, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's so funny because the whole um, business and concept of Crip Hop Homo Hop started here when, when I went to um, Homo, Homo, Homo Hop Out or something, Homo, I forget the name, but it was just a couple of years ago on Tubo Kalanka. Right. Yeah. Um, put together this um, Homo Out yeah. festival, and it lasted for a couple of years. And I went two years in a row, and I, you know, I sat and watched and let 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 them educate me. Right. And after I realized, like, ah, you know, both Homo Hop and Clip Hop have the story of being excluded. From hip hop, you know, from punk rock, mainstream hip hop. So that that really got my wheels thinking about about that, and and just, I just approached UC Berkeley and to um, discuss the whole the whole um, proposal, and they they really liked it. And a group of us, not only me, Galen Peterson, that has their green use 
Connor in Oakland. He does a lot of hip hop. Um, Nathan. Um, also a queer hip hop artist in Oakland. The um, going to Kuto is like three of us really kept the project going. And um, yeah, yeah, it turned out good in Berkeley. We had people from Las Vegas. We had, um, we had Ms. Money from Texas. We had Cuba. We had, yeah, we had a lot of people come. So that, that was YouTube Berkeley. And because of that, um, NYU saw that. And that was a good thing, right? The NYU thing was a success. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. So what happened there? Who do you, who were you talking to, and what was the content? So we when we talked to who we had we had the same same kind of outline and I was discussing. We had film, um, hip hop artists, and we had performance. So the panel was um, was a group of people we had. We had, um, oh God, I can't even the name. Sue, Sue, um, pe people with teeth, people with teeth is a New York based um, hip hop group, and they and they perform. They they have a song called Gay, but then they get killed. They performed, um, well, was a lot of it a presentation, like a sort of a lecture? Um, the, the, the piano was, was not, not a lecture, it was like a really a, a discussion. You know, um, I was the MC, so I asked the panelists, you know, different questions about, for example, um, you know, how, how can we work together, you know, um, questions about, you know, mainstream hip hop and the view of queerness in mainstream hip hop. So, okay.